Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Eric Schobe, and this is Casper. I work at Dropbox. I co-lead the hardware management module subgroup with my trusty partner, Chen, who's sitting right there. Um, <clears throat> we're doing a, a quick lightning talk today. Um, we're going to cover a couple demos by Intel. Um, <clears throat> just a quick recap of what our group does at OCP. Really, the mission is centered around a couple of things. One of them is to standardize management interfaces, specifically baseboard management controllers um, and the respective host. Um, secondary, we want to create an ecosystem where you can view reference designs and include them in your uh, MPI projects. Um, so if you actually log in there now, you can see schematics and layouts, Gerber files for run BMC and DC SEM modules, and we're also aiming to establish a healthy roadmap. Uh, we currently have multiple swim lanes in this subgroup, uh, DCSEM 1.0, 2.0, and run BMC, and <laughs> those are our goals. Also, a quick reminder, um, we have more lightning talks tomorrow, uh, starting at 10.30, right here. So if you're interested more in learning about run, uh, hardware management module subgroup, come here and um, listen in. I'm going to hand it over to Casper. Here you go, Casper. Thank you, Eric. Uh, hi, so my name is Casper. I'm uh, here with uh, my friend Przemek. Uh, we're, we're coming from Poland. Here are the funny names coming up. Uh, and um, we're going to talk about the demos that we show in the Experience Center booth. Uh, we have a DCSCM and Run BMC demos uh, uh, that we are showing there. Uh, so the first one is the uh, Intel Cyclone 5 based run BMC module. It's a f uh, full uh, BMC solution uh, based on FPGA SOC, uh, where we run the complete open BMC firmware stack, exactly the same as on the uh, BMC ASIC uh, stacks. Uh, we have uh, also the security domain handled by additional Max 10 device uh, here on this module. Uh, and we have a, a full, fully integrated server platform. It's called Seal Harbor. It's a Cascade Lake uh, system, dual node system with two run BMC uh, modules. Uh, we call it ephemeral storage system. Uh, it's a fully redundant uh, solution that, um, uh, that has uh, no single point of failure. It also has two run BMC modules uh, with um, uh, Intel Cyclone 5 uh, as a BMC solution. Uh, here's the, uh, the demo booth that you can find there in the uh, Experience Center and, and learn more about uh, uh, this type of solution. Uh, Another demo that we have in the same Experience Center booth is the uh, DCSCM 2.0 modules from Intel. Uh, those are the uh, dual node configurations. Uh, you can go there in the Experience Center uh, and uh, you know, get some hands-on experience with those modules. Uh, this is a fully compliant implementation of the DCSCM 2.0 uh, pinout standard in a dual mode configuration. Uh, we have a fully uh, compliant mechanical implementation, including all the uh, most uh, recent changes in the spec, like uh, connector shift or locking mechanism. Uh, and we also have this um, this funny combination of the two modular standard uh, that are uh, within OCP hardware management module sub project. So we have run BMC and the CSCM in a, uh, in a single solution. This allows uh, more flexibility of uh, uh, of this kind of uh, design that uh, will let you to replace a BMC SOC easily on our DCSCM module. Uh, if we look, look closer on those modules, we have uh, uh, two Max 10 devices there. On the left-hand side, you can see an SCM CPLD that is implementing LTPI, um, uh, LTPI standard that is part of the DCSCM 2.0. Uh, we have another uh, Max 10 that is handling a PFR, so it's our Intel's uh, root of trust solution. Uh, and also this run BMC slot that can host uh, a different BMC SOC. So it's either our run BMC module with Cyclone 5 on the right hand side, but it can also be uh, 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 an ASP2600 or Nuvoton chip. We actually have an ASP2600 uh, run BMC module as well uh, in our experience center booth, so we can uh, come around and, and look at those, uh, those modules as well. Uh, 
and our um, our module uh, supports USB Type C, and it's a kind of uh, a combination of the uh, a, a, a debug use case more than the USB Type C use case. We have the uh, I3C debug interface there uh, for the host, and we also have the uh, the the, uh, the UART inter uh, the USB uh, 2.0 interface there for uh, UART debug um, access to the host. Uh, we have also a typical USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 uh, for the host uh, mini display port uh, and of course one gigabit uh, Ethernet for the manageability function. Uh, the last demo that we present in the uh, in the OPCP experience booth uh, is the LTPI demo. Uh, there's my friend Kasia there that that will let you uh, that will uh, answer all your questions, uh, and she's the leading engineer uh, for this implementation. Uh, so uh, uh, in this demo, we are. Uh, Having also some, uh, you know, untypical configuration here of on the hardware side because we actually con interconnected two DCSCM modules together uh, using this um, uh, proprietary uh, interconnection board in the middle, uh, and we also uh, integrated LTPI interface between those Mac stands on each of the DCSCM module. This is not a typical. Um, uh, production use case, but it let us uh, easily build a setup for LTPI development, LTPI integration, uh, especially that uh, uh, we also have a BMC modules uh, on those DCSCMs. Uh, and we can easily integrate uh, open BMC firmware with LTPI implementation in this very compact, small setup that is uh, easy to handle uh, as a development vehicle. Uh, so on the on the left hand side, you have a web UI view of the uh, left hand side DCSCM open BMC. On the right hand side, you have the same view of the right hand side uh, open BMC uh, running on the second DCSCM modules. And those uh, two open BMC implementations, they actually actually communicate with each other uh, over LTPI. So all the interfaces are being uh, um, used natively by the OpenBMC, and then uh, they are tunneled through LTPI and uh, uh, and reconstructed on the other side, and the other BMC is also, um, you know, um, it's not even aware of this LTPI uh, even being there. So they think that they are communicating with each other over native interfaces. Um, this is a, a fully compliant implementation with the LTPI uh, 1.0 uh, specification that we just completed uh, recently. Uh, and uh, this is also the implementation that Intel is uh, committed to contribute to OCP. Uh, we are closing our latest uh, uh, legal uh, processes at Intel. <laughs> and, uh, we should be, uh, excuse me, we should be ready uh, with uh, releasing that on the GitHub uh, uh, quite soon. Uh, so the last slide is call to action. Uh, we want to encourage you to come join us in the Experience Center. We have uh, um, Intel demos there for LTPI uh, implementation for DC. You can uh, have a hands-on experience with the CSCM modules uh, and also the Cyclone 5 run BMC uh, solution. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.